Lady Charmaine and my guests are known as the sons of Tito Jackson and the nephews of the famed Jackson 5. They are also called 3T. And they're here today to talk about their brand new docuseries airing on Lifetime this Friday called The Jackson's Next Generation. I want you to help me welcome Taj, Terrell, and TJ Jackson to the show. Welcome. Thank you. Hey, how are you? I am great. Thank you so much for joining me on this show. And I want to say congratulations on your brand new docu-series. I watched it twice, as I told you before. Great show. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, this question is going to be going out to Terrell. Terrell, I wanted to know, who idea was it to do a docu-series? And what was your deciding factor to say, yes, we need to do a docu-series? Well, it's still a docu-series. It's something that we've thought about for a very, very long time. And, um, you know, it wasn't right for us for many reasons until now. Um, it, it just, it was difficult because a lot of things came with it, you know, before where, where if we wanted to do a show, there was a lot of strings attached. And this was the very first time we were able to, to do it our way. And our way was to be open and real and show our side and be honest with it, with the world. And, um, you know, it was my brothers and I, we made that difficult decision to, to let the walls down and, um, you know, kind of show the world what it's like to be us and live life through our, through our, our, our ways. And this question is going out to Taj. We talked before because how you are really adamant in preserving your family's legacy. How far are you willing to go to make sure that your uncle's name and legacy is preserved? And how do you pick the battles that you're going to fight? Gosh, um... I'll do a second question first because that's the easier one. Okay. It's basically, I, I mean, the fans kind of let me know because I can't see everything. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, and the fans let me know what's out there as well. So they're kind of watching as well. They're the watchdogs too. And they're kind of frustrated and fed up with the lies as well. Um, and I pick my battles just by what I think, you know, is if it's something that I can kind of, you know, change in a way. But even the ones that I can't change, I still fight them. Mm -hmm. But um, it's hard. It's it's very hard changing, you know, someone's perception when all they've been fed is lies. Right. And they have to kind of be willing to be, have an open mind. And that's what I'm hoping with people, that people want to know, you know, what we're like and what, you know, the real Michael Jackson and the real Jackson family, what we're like. Because, you know, they've been spoon-fed lies their whole life. That's true. And this question is going out to TJ. TJ, you are co-guardian with your grandmother, um, with your nieces and nephews, Paris, Prince, and Blanket. And you also have your own children. What are some of your challenges that you're facing raising a little baby and teenagers? Because see, I have a 16-year-old, 13-year-old, and a 19-month-old. So I know where my challenges are with a big age gap. What are some of your challenges? Oh, wow. (laughs) It ranges. Um, As you just said, I'm sure you know. But I'm going from changing diapers to, mm-hmm. you know, to senior year in college. I, I got the whole full spectrum. So I think the biggest challenge for me is, is I, I really believe in being an, an attentive parent and, and being there for each child. So the challenge I face is, is time, is being able to be there for all the important things and mm-hmm. to really spend one-on-one time with, with each child. So that, that's something that's, you know, partially documented in the show. And it's something that, that people will see that just like everyone else, you know, we believe in, in parenthood and family. And, and that's pretty much it. That's my answer. <laughs> you know what? And that's my answer, too. And I'm sticking to it. I'm with you. So we're on the same page. And also, <laughs> also yeah. TJ, I wanted to say uh, out of all your siblings, your aunts and uncles, and you being the youngest brother of the Tito sons, why did you decide to step up to work with your grandmother in raising your cousins, Paris, Prince, and Blanket? Oh, uh, I think for me, um, I, I was the youngest when I when we lost our mother. I mm. just turned sixteen. Uh, I think that so I I could kind of relate with the pain as a child, what it's like to lose a parent. Like my cousins lost their their father. Mm-hmm. Um, that coupled with the fact that I, I was the first one out of the brothers to have a child and I have children, so I kind of knew in advance. You know the, the 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 hurdles and 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 pitfalls and obstacles that today's kids go through, and I just felt a strong calling to to be there, and and to to help my grandmother in any way. And something I tell my grandmother to add is, you know, we lost our mother as youngsters, and our grandmother just a couple of years after we lost our mother. Mm. So for me, I think every young man wants to in some way protect and help a maternal figure, and for us, that's our grandmother. And our grandmother's in our 80s, 
and you know it, it was just a lot for her to, to handle three you know now teenagers so I just felt the need to for all those reasons to, to try to be there as much as I can for her and my cousin and my uncle that that was beautiful because not only do you sympathize you were able to empathize so you were able to reach the hearts of them because you know exactly what they're feeling that was a beautiful answer thank you thank you thank you no problem and this question is for Terrell. Terrell, you've been working hard in the gym trying to get your sexy back with your wife. So how's that working for you? Yeah, well, you know what? It was it was more about me just being comfortable in my skin. But there was a lot of things going on in my life um, that I had to deal with. You know, the loss of my mom mm-hmm. and the loss of my uncle. And then just, just not really being happy with where I was in my life. And um, that took a... I'm, I'm an emotional eater. So, you know, you can imagine... As bad as things were for me, the pounds just started coming on, and um, you know, I, I, it wasn't it wasn't that I was lazy and I wasn't going to the gym because I go to the gym. It's just if, if you don't fix your happiness in my situation, if I don't fix my happiness, then nothing's going to change. So I, I really had to face a lot of those things and deal with them. And now that you know I'm working on it, I, I feel things are changing for me, so I'm happy about that. You know, and and I can relate to you because I'm an emotional eater. If I get stressed, I eat. And that's the one thing I like about you. You're sharing your story from a male point of view because we always hear about women and things they've gone through and breakups and they're emotional eaters. But you're sharing your story. And I just want to say thank you guys for really digging in and and really, really reaching inside and sharing your story and being open with us. So I just want to say thank you. And lastly, I know you had some cousins that were going to be doing a show called Living with the Jacksons that was canceled. Are some of your cousins from that show are they going to be a part of your show as well we did we did a couple of, of fun you know fun things and, and cousin family type of things and several of those cousins are also in this show okay unfortunately at the time you know they were still filming i think for their previous show so we had a you know they they couldn't they were a little bit limited on on how much they could, could participate on our show but those cousins we love them and, and they're amazing young men so, um, you know, hopefully it, 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 if it goes another season, they'll be more involved in this show. Oh, good. And Leslie, how's your grandfather doing? We, we know he had a scare. How is he doing? He's doing okay. Um, mm-hmm. You know, myself and a lot of the younger cousins went and visited him yesterday. And, you know, he, he, he went through a, a, a tough little stroke there. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it, it, it's a difficult road for his recovery. But, you know, he's taking steps and progressing slowly. So he's in our hearts and prayers, and, and you know, he's our grandfather. And that's mm-hmm. another thing. You know, I think the world has kind of beat up on him a little too much because without him, none of us would be in our position, and, mm-hmm. and, and we're all thankful for him. I know that's right. Give honor where honor is due. Thank you. And I just want to remind the being honest and make sure that you tune in this Friday, October the 2nd to Lifetime. You're going to get a chance to check out the Jacksons, the next generation beginning at 10 p.m. Thank you so much, Taj, Terrell, and TJ for coming on the show. And I pray that you guys get a second season. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. You're welcome. Bye-bye.